Hello and welcome. In today's tutorial, we'll talk about how to send time from Cluckify to QuickBooks. If you're new to Cluckify, you'll need to create an account, invite team members who will track time and make sure their name in Cluckify and QuickBooks are the same. Make sure to check out our other video on inviting users to Cluckify. Once your whole team is in Clockify, the next step is to connect to QuickBooks. Go to Settings, then the Integrations tab, expand QuickBooks and click Connect to QuickBooks and Authorize Access. Now that you're connected, the next thing you need to do is sync users and projects. First, the sync will check all users in Clockify which have the same name as in QuickBooks. If there's a user in Clockify that's missing in QuickBooks, Clockify will automatically create them in QuickBooks. Next, Clockify checks projects and customers you have in QuickBooks. Customers and projects in QuickBooks are treated as projects in Clockify. But if you have parent customers in QuickBooks, the sub-customer in QuickBooks will be treated as project in Clockify and its parent in QuickBooks will be treated as client in Clockify. If there's a project or customer in QuickBooks that doesn't exist in Clockify, Clockify will pull and create them automatically. But if you have a project in Clockify that does not exist in QuickBooks, either as a project or a customer, you will need to create them manually in QuickBooks using the same name as in Clockify and then run the sync again. Once everything's synced, you and your team can track time you spend on projects using a timer like this, or by entering hours manually in the timesheet like this. Also, make sure to set hourly rates and mark time as billable if you wish to send over the billing data to QuickBooks as well. All track time is available in the detailed report. Here is where you can send track time over to QuickBooks. Click the QuickBooks button and you'll see all time entries that haven't been sent yet. Before you send the data, review if everything is in the right order and make edits if necessary. You can also limit what you wish to send by applying filters here. For example, if you wish to send only approved time, open the status filter, choose approved and click filter. When you're ready, click Send to QuickBooks and everything you see will be sent over to QuickBooks. Once the process is over, Clockify will mark entries as sent so you don't accidentally send the same time entries again. Now open QuickBooks and you'll see all time has been sent here. If you wish to see what's been sent, you can click on the drop down right here and select Show Sent Entries. You can only send an entry once. If you make changes to sent entries, the changes will not affect the time in QuickBooks. In case there was a mistake, you can update the time manually in QuickBooks. To make sure data in Clockify and QuickBooks is consistent, it's best to lock and approve timesheets so no one can make subsequent changes. As time goes by, you'll have new users and projects in Clockify or QuickBooks. So before you send time to QuickBooks, make sure to sync new users and projects in settings by clicking this button. Otherwise, if some user or project is not synced, you won't be able to send time for them to QuickBooks. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos as well as like, share and subscribe.